having a good day? I'm Pastor Ranju, and this is your community group video. You know, today I'm coming to you from my home, and whether you are watching this um, at your home, preparing for community group, or whether you're actually watching this together with your community group, I want to take a minute and thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for putting the time and energy into growing together as a body. We appreciate you and we are better because we have you. So I have a couple questions to guide our discussion tonight, but before we get there, I want to take a minute just to remind everyone about OzFest. It's coming up this Saturday the 15th. It's going to be loads of fun. There are bouncy castles and games and free food and pumpkins and live music. It's just going to be a blast. I want to remind you about three things. First, show up. Make sure it's on your calendar. Come. It's from 10 to 2. Second, volunteer. We all need, I mean, we're doing so many things this year and uh, we need as many hands on deck as possible. So please, if you can, volunteer. Find a way to help. And third, and this is most important, invite, invite, invite someone. You know, maybe there's someone in your life that you would just like to invite to church. Maybe that you just think that they could use some God in their life. You know, maybe you want to share your faith. You don't know how. Well, this is a first step. You're just inviting them to something fun, something they'll enjoy. And maybe through that, you'll have an opportunity to share God with them. So make sure, think about someone, pray about it, and invite people to come to this. So that's your... Uh, promo for OzFest. Make sure you check out the video on Facebook, like it, and share it with your friends too. And without further ado, here is your 90 Second Sermon Recap. Hey everybody, it's Lisa with your 90 Second Sermon Recap. We finished up our series uh, called Stand By Me, which was on the importance of community. And Pastor Jason talked about the importance of the relationship between those who are new in faith in Jesus and those who are old in faith in Jesus, the experienced ones. He called them newbies and old timers. And he pointed out how in one of uh, the letters that Peter wrote to some of these early churches, he talked about that very concept of the importance of a healthy relationship between those two groups of people. And he talked to the younger people, he talked to the newbies and said, make sure that you're respecting um, those elders and those old timers in your place and um, seek them for wisdom and don't let your own pride get in the way of what you can learn about life in Jesus from them. But he also talked to the old timer and he actually spent most of his time in this letter talking to the old timers saying that you guys can struggle with pride too. You tend to, you can tend to look down on the youngers and just, you know, think of them as a nuisance or, you know, a bother. But um, your relationship with them is even more important because they need people who are going to lead like Jesus. And that was our big idea. Newbies need old timers who will lead like Jesus. So that was your 90 second sermon recap and once again, great job Lisa. Um, so your first question for tonight is, who has been an elder to you? And what I mean by that is who has been a mentor to you in your life or someone who's been there for you and given you guidance and wisdom? Go ahead and share about who that person is and what they meant to you over the course of your life. So your second question is based on the main point. Newbies need old timers who lead like Jesus. So your question is, how did Jesus lead people? What I mean by that is what did he do and what can we learn from how Jesus led and uh, ministered to people? Finally, your last question for the night is, who is God calling you to be an elder to? You know, the beautiful part about being a Christian is that we're all called to mentor and be mentored to. So regardless of how new you are to the faith, there's someone who is not as close to Jesus as you and who you can be a witness to, who you can be an elder to and lead and mentor and show God's love. And so your challenge on Sunday was to think of someone like that. And so I want to bring that back. Who is God placing on your heart that you need to uh, be an elder?
elder for, to be, to be an elder to. Would you go ahead and share those things, share those people, and then let that question lead into a time of prayer. That's it for today. God bless and have a great time.